Are you really just talking at me right now? Okay. That one got me. Hey posse, it's Jackson, and welcome to the first installment of the Steamy Scale, the series where I delve in to a bad game, and at the ending, I give it a rating from 0% to 100, depending on how good or bad the game was. Now keep in mind, all of these games are bad, but it, the scale is rating how good of a bad game it was. Today, I give you the Graveyard Shift. Not a horrible menu, that's already, already a decent decent point they actually have settings unlike a lot of stuff in the silence of the night demons ambush our thoughts and mattis unfurls its flags in our hearts for sometimes the darkest corners of our minds have their own demonic allure edwinville okay not the worst looking game i've ever seen again it's not the best looking game either don't get me wrong graveyard shift december 1995 whispering wind cemetery This must be the Graveyard Grand Master. Must be in charge of all of the graveyards. How's it going? Okay, I'll just... Is everything alright here? Um... So, no lip movement? That's good. So, I don't like the way you're not blinking or moving your lips, and you're kind of rocking back and forth. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. Okay. You should know that many... Oh, Johnny Depp's buried here? Okay, can I... Is Johnny... Who? Who's Johnny's? Does he have a supermarket in the graveyard? Who in the hell is Johnny's, man? I'm going to Johnny's in the graveyard? Is that that building that I saw outside? Or does Johnny's have a room inside the the graveyard for some reason? Oh, you must... Well, hello, Mr. Frankenstein. Are you Johnny's or... No? I figured you were Johnny's. I guess not. I'll be going and looking for Johnny's now. Okay, I'm not seeing... Go to the security room and talk to Johnny. Is that not the security room? Over oh, maybe it's this down here. I'm guessing this is the security room. Yes, this is definitely the security room. Johnny, you would think that the security room would be outside of the graveyard, not within it, but... Maybe that is definitely... There's Johnny's. Wouldn't it just be better to lock the gates? Like, wouldn't that just be so much easier? Just to lock the gates instead? Alright, chill out. Damn. Okay. Let's go ahead and check the cameras here. Oh, that tall man is still in the grave. Hey, sir. I need you to leave, Frankenstein. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gates. <laughs> All right, yeah, you get out of here. That's right. You get out of here, sir. Yeah, I love the way you walk, though. You're... All right, sir, settle down. No reason to be aggressive. You take it easy. Sir, where are you going? You're... Sir, I can give you a ride if you'd like. <sighs> Alright, let's go and close my door here. Should we go and lock it? There we go, nice and locked. We got a nice can of beans cooking. Alright, well, that's good. We got a bed. Take it. That's kind of foul. Alright, let's make sure we don't have any spooky scaries coming through. <sighs> Seems pretty clear tonight. Seems pretty clear tonight. Ah, uh, got a leaky pipe, man. Well, here's the dissection. What? Is this the... 
Where's the dissection hall? I'm guessing the dissection hall is this room out here to the right. Oh, you little silly devils messing around in the dissection hall. Let's head on in here and check it out. A nice little sliding door. What are you guys doing in here? Don't you be doing that now. Let me pick this body up. Put it back up. Put it back up on the bed. You stay right there now. Who's out here hollering and yelling? You guys need to keep it down. Got bodies in here sleeping. But I still can't leave. Oh, I need to rest. All right. Oh, hey, good night. No, talk to y'all in the morning. Graveyard shift. Oh, not a spooky dream again. Not one of these spooky, scary dreams. Not again. I just gotta follow the wind. Whatever else. Oh, well, I'll be son of a bitch. If it ain't all busted up. Won't you be sneaking up on me now? I know how y'all work. There we go. Check the CCTV. On back we go. Who was that? She'll be giving me no goosebumps now. Alright now. I'm gonna go close this door. And lock it up, okay? Y'all stay in there. Alright. Let's see. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear here. Oh no. Two of the bodies have left the place. Oh no. Man, this is getting a little spooky for me now, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, see, like, it said find a way out before I even got to realize that. All right, come on now. You, you ruined the fun for me. I didn't even get to realize that the door was not locked, like, that it was locked. We will not be buried here. Why not? I'm trying to put y'all to peace. I'm really trying to put y'all to rest, man. It's not like we're trying to hurt y'all or anything. Axe for Woods. Nice. Axe for Woods. Do I have to use the axe on the door? Bro, did I not just grab a key? Like, what the hell's going on here? What is my... Find a way out. I, I'm trying, brother. I grabbed a key that was sitting in here. Like, I literally grabbed the key here. Like, I'm, I'm extremely confused. It, okay, I, I see. All the bodies are here on the ground. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, Mr. Johnny. Oh, no. What is this man doing? Oh, no. No signal. Oh, no. Yeah, sure. Let's go check out this giant tall dude with a hatchet digging up a grave in the middle of the damn cemetery. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go do it. Sir, you need to leave here, please. What grave even was that? I don't even know what these cameras are monitoring. I could have swore it was like right here. He dug that grave. Oh, no. He dug that grave. What? Oh, no! Escape from the graveyard through the gate! What the fuck? There's something wrong with this graveyard. I have to leave this cemetery as soon as possible so that I don't die myself. Let's get out of here. Wait, I, I literally can't find it. There's the exit. Oh, no. Let's go. Quickly now. Was I supposed to be a cemetery guard or a damn ghost club? I will not stay here even for a moment. Shit. The lock has been changed. The viewing is until tomorrow, guys. Guys, the viewing is not till tomorrow. You guys can go ahead and head on out of here, okay? Um we open it we open at 7 a.m., so you're more than welcome to come visit your family tomorrow. 7 a.m. sharp, but do remember, we do close at 5.30 p.m. I call Johnny? I can't call Johnny. It's okay, though. 
Go and check CCTV once again. Who are you, ma'am? Don't you jump at the camera now. Well, there's somebody in there. Who is that? You guys, oh. Okay. Let's see. Williams or Brighton family, youngest child between books and rotting corpses. Alrighty. Can I come in? Oh, just gotta go this way. Like, what is this, bro? It's like a demon locked up in there, man. I don't know what that means. Between books or rotting corpses, but... Parrington. Alright, this is the Parrington family, I guess. This is the Williams family. Oh, no. Not the Williams family. Was I meant to be doing something here? Am I supposed to... Oh, hey, sir. Wait, when did I get a lighter? Oh. Okay. That was... An interesting choice. To make. Nonetheless. Where did I get a lighter, bro? Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Uh-huh. How's it feel, son? I really don't know when I got a lighter. Am I supposed to burn all this wood or something? Or Oh, I'm supposed to leave. Okay, I really didn't know I was supposed to leave. Am I going? Okay, let me get back to the security room. Sorry, I don't like that they're calling it the security room. It is very clearly Johnny's. I hear crying from there. Why? Why will you go check? Go to Go to Johnny's. I can't close it. No, you know what? I will not go check. Oh my god. Why, man? Why? It is very clearly... Oh yeah, there's... Okay. Alright. Hey, nun. You okay? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I, I literally can't lock the door anymore. That's an interesting move. Game. Wait. Wait, he's still digging the grave. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again, man. Oh my god, everything is back, bro. There's a skeleton in the seat. See you in see you in the hell. <laughs> Devil does not burn. Oh no. There must be here. Oh no! Leave the area. No, what? Are, I'm going out the window. Alrighty. That's why I couldn't lock it, because they needed to have a the animation to get me out. Climbing out this window a little slow. All right, like I like they said, the devil does not. Bur How in the hell? You got the sprinkler going. It's a little dark. No! Johnny, come help me out, man. Oh no, they're gonna bury me in his tomb now. Where am I? I died? God, Johnny's. Oh, I'm in. Woo! God, the audio in this game is so loud, bro. It is so loud. Am I going to get to see Johnny again? Because that... I'm missing him, man. Um. Wait, am I down somewhere? Oh. I literally could not see anything, bro. Like, I thought I was just standing there. I was just sitting there the whole time. Okay. Am I supposed to... 
Um, oh. Okay. Hello? How's it going? What did I do, man? I'm just a security guard. I didn't do none to you. Like, why are you guys haunting me? Am I going to get to come join you guys? Or what's going on? No? It's very dark. I cannot see anything. Oh. Interesting. There's a tape here. Let's go ahead and put this in the TV here. Can I? The video home system is a standard for consumer level animal. Well, I know, but where do I? Oh, in here. Okay. Hello there, viewers. Today's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting <laughs> guard believes them and believes the body of a demon-possessed I love the AI voice. He didn't know that the spirits are not visible and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again and the spirits of whispering winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. Oh no, I'm dead! No! What am I gonna do now? I must be dead. I'm in the ether. No. Don't look at... Don't look at up. I looked it up. They tried to warn me, but I looked it up. Ooh. I must have just fell asleep. This isn't... This isn't the graveyard that I remember. Hey, Priest Johnson. Alright, I'm coming. They told... They warned me not to look at the up, but I did look it up. I did. Hey, Priest. You know, I think it fairly went pretty well. That being the god of this place, who vitalizes the hidden spirit. It does indeed. Yes, sir. Well, tell Johnny I say goodbye, and I'll see you later, all right? You have a good one now. All right, well, fucking never coming back here. Yep, see you later. Have a good one. Catch you later. Er very clearly nobody in that car. Oh my god, I'm, I'm I'm actually driving this car. Okay, wow. Well, I am zooming. Can I crash? No. I'm zooming right now. What makes a woman? This is Okay. Um this is very well uh This is probably just going to let you know this is probably muted. Very one 100% of DMCA song in here. So, that is definitely going to be muted. Mute it. It is a banger, though. Wish you guys could hear it. I'll put some music over for you, though. Don't worry. Ooh. This is a banger, though. Am I, just, am I just driving forever? Or Wait, who's that up there? Oh, no. He's following me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Not the devil, man. Get out the car quick! Oh, it was all a dream. Oh, it's just a fire. Ugh. 
I'm sorry. Are you, are you good? Are you really just talking to me right now? Okay. That one got me. I didn't even get to see what the text said on the back of the van, though. The graveyard shift! Developer Dark Phobia Games. So, what is the final overall score of Graveyard Shift? Let me explain the scale system to you. There is a bunch of subcategories that make up the overall percentage. Like, specifically, we have the menu and menu settings, visuals, voice acting, mechanics and UI, story, and finally, the price. All of these things have their own individual sub percentage. These sub percentages make up the overall percentage, which is the final steamy score. Now, for this game specifically, I gave the menu settings a 17%. Now that may seem a little high, but for a bad game, the settings in this menu had everything that you could need. The settings allowed you to switch your audio, your controls, more, and honestly, something that most bad games don't have allow you to switch your output and that is something that no bad games ever include our next is the visuals the visuals could have been much better of course most games horror games specifically tend to look like how graveyard shift looked it didn't look bad but almost everything in the entire game were asset flips i have legitimately played in that exact cemetery before no joke the exact same cemetery I've played in in two or three other horror games in the past. Now, for this specific category, I had to go ahead and give the visuals a 14%, just because they're majority all asset flips. Going on to voice acting. The voice acting was obviously not professionally done. Again, most bad games are not. That's not the case for all bad games. Some bad games have pretty decent voice acting. But for this specifically, the voice acting was done from what it seems like by the devs. The devs had hardly any emotion in anything they said. Then you also wanna go back to the characters' mouths moved none at all. It was like they were ventriloquists with someone's hand up their butthole, making their mouths quiet as they spoke through their teeth. That is a huge, huge downfall on that specifically but you could definitely tell that the devs were trying a bit. I think their accents may have just gotten in the way of things a little bit. And I think the priest was AI. So that is a pretty big fault. This brings the score to a 14%. Next, we have the scares. Scares is a specific category that is only obviously done in horror games. The scares in this game were extremely lackluster. And I mean extremely. I jumped one time and that's because I was trying to read something on the van at the very end. These scares consisted of loud noises that at one point made me actually have to take my earbuds out of my ears. They consisted of over the top jump scares that were extremely blatant and obvious when they were going to happen and they never worked whatsoever. My main issue with the scares in this game were the extremely loud and way too long lasting audio increases especially when the phone started making that super loud screeching noise i had to remove my iems out of my ears because i felt like my eardrums were about to bust that is why the scares in this game get a seven percent they are awful mechanics and ui the ui was non-fucking-existent man there was there was no ui whatsoever at one point you could see in the top left of the screen that said pistol not in inventory there was no pistol in the entire game that is a key sign that the devs forgot to remove that part of the ui when they downloaded it off of the asset store which is again sends me back to almost everything in this game is an asset flip the specific ui also had to where it told you nothing at the beginning, the priest said, head on over to Johnny's. I was like, okay, I'm going to a convenience store or something. I'm heading to Johnny's or going to a house. It made me feel like I was going to a bar. Johnny's was the security guard office, but I didn't know that because it said go to Johnny's. So I was looking around, trying to open up different stuff, 
but there was no UI to explain where to go. So I walked around and looked at like three different places, four different places even, and finally figured out that is where I need to go. Finally, the main issue with the UI and mechanics, the mechanics felt like they were straight up pulled out of Rainbow Six Siege or something. Every game nowadays has lean mechanics. I only used the lean mechanics one time. The lean mechanics did nothing. They, they, they don't help in a scary horror game where you can't fight back in any way. It would have been cool if we could have fought back because games like Outlast, which you can't really fight back in Outlast, but let me correct myself. Games like Resident Evil Biohazard, where you're actually able to fight back the monsters, completely adds a different fear. You have the fear of missing your shots and it allows you to feel more in depth and more in tune with your character as you're playing him, finally. I get on to the story. The story was straight on the nose. A man gets a job at a cemetery as a guard. He gets haunted. He, he gets a job at a cemetery called the Whispering Hill Cemetery. He walks up and there's, for some reason, a priest there. I don't know how many cemeteries have a priest there consistently or a church in the middle, which I know some cemeteries do. But a priest, like, having someone come up and then having two hearses on the outside didn't make much sense. Then you have the super tall dude that never actually was explained on who it was. I thought the tall dude was who was digging the grave, but then you end up seeing the tall dude again later on, so it wasn't him. So the story was all over the place, but straight on the nose. You pretty much had a ton of very lackluster things happen. Um, a demon who got buried there and a ton of other unexplained entities that really didn't come into play in the end. But I have to say for a bad game, for a bad game, this had a beginning, a middle and an end, which a lot of games can't even do. It did have an ending. It did have a start. And yes, at the very ending, it had a AI generated voice tell the ending of the story which is a little bit upsetting majority of all of the voices were done by AI except for um, I think two of them but yes for this specific setting I don't think I told you guys the percentage for the mechanics and UI but that was a 3% and for the story it is going to be a 16% and finally we come down to the price the price of this specific game comes up to $6.99 and $6.99 is not a horrible price for this game but it is very much for a ton of asset flips you're not really getting what you pay for you're paying for a ton of asset flips that other games have a ton of so that is all of the scores $6.99 for this game is a little bit overpriced in my opinion for this game I would expect it to be around two dollars those extra couple dollars aren't really necessary considering you didn't make any of your own assets I get $6.99 is not a lot for a game but for this game specifically it was just a little bit over what I would ever spend on that game um, I don't refund them I'm not going to refund it. It is what it is. I purchased these games to make videos on, and I'm going to keep them, of course. If I had to rate this game, being very realistically on the gameplay, the story, and it having a fully completed ending, most of these bad games that I play don't even have an ending. They're unbeatable. They don't have voice acting. It's only text. There's not really a objective to complete. This game had everything except for the voice acting. Now or sorry, they had the voice acting. They did not have the voice animation on the mouths. The jump scares were pretty lackluster. The CCTV mechanics, it was kind of a back and forth. But realistically, all in all, I enjoyed this game. Um, only because it was fun to, it was fun to make fun of. Really, uh, a lot of the voice acting was funny. Going to Johnny's and um, Don't Look at the Up was, was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to give this game on a good bad game it is not the best bad game i've ever played but it's not the worst this is honestly going to have to get about a 42 percent now why am i giving a 42 percent is all of the reasons i just explained i wish i could give it a higher scale but the story was a little bit lackluster even getting to the ending i don't really understand who the demon was who the super tall dude was why the priest said nothing about it 
why Johnny's was still working there, even though he knows what's going on. But other than that, 42% is what I'm going to stick at. 